Our next recipient, Wa Wad Kalatib, reported for the UK's Channel 4 News on the conflict in Syria, the most complex humanitarian crisis in the world. Her reports became the most watched pieces in the new in the UK news program and won 24 awards, including the 2016 International Emmy for Breaking News Coverage. She's unable to be with us this evening, but she wanted to share her heartfelt thanks. Let's hear from her now. Hello, my name is Wad Al Khatib. I'm a Syrian filmmaker. I'm so happy to be recognized by Muhammad Ali Humanitarian Award and take this award this year. I'm so sorry that I can't be with you tonight, but there's Sana, uh, she's one of uh, my best friends. Uh, like this award supports me a lot and to give me a lot of hope to keep fighting for our freedom. Uh, and I would love to give this award for uh, Samar, who is still in Idlib now. Uh, Samar is one of the great uh, women who's still working inside Syria uh, with the children. I also would love to give it to uh, Haya, who took her uh, son, Hamza, every day to school and then go to film outside. I would give it also to Haleen, who lost her home uh, a while ago and she's keep doing her work. I also would love to give it to Mirna. Mirna, uh, the great uh, filmmaker who's doing uh, videos every day on Facebook to tell the world what's going on in Idlib. I also would love to give it to Hiba. Hiba, uh, she has two kids and she's a photographer. She's also continue her work in Idlib. All this great woman is fighting for our freedom and fighting all the bad circumstances to keep telling the world what's going on in Syria. Uh, I'm so happy to be uh, part of this and thank you so much again for recognizing me and keep your eyes open for all the great people around the world who's making difference. Thank you. Here to accept this award for conviction on her behalf is a founding member of the Network for Refugee Voices and a Syrian activist herself since 2013 after fleeing the war in Syria. Please welcome Sona Mustafa. I think everyone needs a moment after just the trailer. Not much to say, I think, from my end after Wad's words, powerful words, and what she shows us through her camera. Gratefully, despite the inhumane, yet human-made, tough realities that Wad and her family, alongside millions of Syrians, had experienced for years in Aleppo, they have survived. And they are continuing their mission, life's mission, to tell the raw, authentic, untold story about Syria and its people by Syrians themselves. As another Syrian myself, I am also here to tell you that there are many Wads and Samas until this moment still living under the Assad regime and the Russian bombs. There are many people like my very own father, who have disappeared without any information about their whereabouts under the hands of the Assad regime. And guess what? We will probably never know. To them, to human rights defenders, and to the free Syrians who sacrificed everything for freedom and democracy, we give this award. Thank you. <laughs> 